top of our bats. All right, here we go. Happy Friday. Getting that mat set. All right, let's come to the top of our mat. The mats are behind us. Hip distance with your feet. Roll those shoulders all the way back. Pull the ribs in. Drop that tailbone slightly so that your back is not swaying. And we're gonna take that nice inhale, up, arms up. Pulling those ribs in, pulling the shoulders all the way down away from your ears. Pull the lats down, exhale, fold forward. Palms out, touch the floor, bend your knees if you need to, lower your head. Pull the belly back through the spine and take your first rock. Back and forth, toes and heels. Hold on a second. We got our update here that we do not want to do. Of course, you know, we couldn't go a week without that. <laughs> All right, back with you. And here we go. Rocking back and forth. Let's hold on to those elbows. Take that sway. Drawing that head and upper body nice and heavy. Lower the arms, circle them out. Dangle them over your mat. Switch. Take your fingertips to the floor and we're gonna take our walk back. Our other walk back, we're into this plank position, holding those shoulders right over the wrists and rock back on those toes. Toes towards the heels. And if you want, rock to the tops of the feet if it feels comfortable to you. Now, if it doesn't, don't do it. Hold it there, come right on top of those toes, lower down, elbows coming in, pull the shoulders back. Gaze down at your mat, press yourself up. Belly up off the floor, or come all the way up and tuck slightly under so we're not sinking into the back. Hold it there, we're on top of those toes. If you're up here with me, lower back, down. Breathe. All right, take the balls of the feet to the floor. We're gonna push up and back, or of course you know you can come to your knees first and then push yourself up. Press up, press back, stretching the heels down towards the floor and pedal out those feet. Let's hold it, lengthen those arms, pull that knee close to the chest, hold it there and pedal out. Pull the other knee close to the chest, maybe lift it up, maybe round the spine a little bit if you want. Bring it back, lengthen, and again, we're gonna pedal out those feet. Four, three, two, one, hold it back, lengthen the arms, get your head closer to the floor, lift your heels up, lift the tailbone up closer to the ceiling. Obviously, not quite, but up, up a little bit more, lower the heels down, inhale. Exhale, pelvic tilt, inhale. Exhale, pull that belly up and, on. and in one more time. And let's come back to our plank position. Hold it there, lift up that leg, come down to that other knee if you need to. Lift, hold it, switch, and press back. All right, let's walk it up all the way towards our hands, lower the head down, roll up, inhale, exhale, good. Roll those shoulders back, again, pull the ribs in, take that tailbone slightly down, and pull the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, fingertips on the floor, lower your head, rock it out, second set. Just gonna scratch my foot, because it's underneath. Hold it there. Get your head a little closer to your thighs. Maybe lift your heels up a little bit more. And then stretch really in that hamstring. Uh, sorry, calves and your hamstrings, of course. And let's pull those hands to the floor, fingertips, walk back, walk back. Hold it, rock it out. Good, hold there, weight is right on top of those toes. You're right on top of those hands and lower down. Pull the elbows in, shoulders back. Pull the belly up off the floor. Or come up with me, little pelvic tilt. Hold, gazes between your hands. Breathe, 
lower back down. Shoulders down, elbows in, fold the feet into the floor if you're coming with me or on your knees. Good, press the palms into the floor to get yourself up. And back. And we're gonna pedal out again. Oh, I just itch on the bottom of my foot, why? Good, hold it back. Lift the heels up, draw the tailbone up to the ceiling. Take that little march and lower the heels. Inhale, exhale, pelvic tilt. Shouldn't be moving anything but your abdominals. One more time. And plank. Alrighty, we press back. Go to your other knee if you need to. Pull it, circle, circle, switch. Circle, circle, take it down, press back, walk it all the way up to your hands. And while we're down, come on up, inhale, exhale. Alrighty, we're coming down to the floor, cross, cross, or bend and come down. Alrighty, let's grab that ball. And we're gonna first, of course, place it behind our tailbone. To start, gonna add a few variations in today. Scoop your belly all the way back and press back. Bend your knees, they're in parallel position. Hold and press, karate chop arms, Strong arms, pull the elbows in and back and lift them up. Rest them all the way back, back past your ball. We're gonna hold it there. Hold it, press it back. Four, three, two, one. Now, today, we're gonna cross this leg over into a four position, okay? And we're gonna come up with that bent leg. <clears throat> Little different variation. Good. Now I'm gonna take this hand behind my head and I'm gonna twist here. Pull that arm out. Twist. Hold and pulse. That arm all the way out. Hold. Curl all the way back. Curl the arms back. Lift. One more. Hold. Hold. Biceps by the ears. Come on up. Switch your legs. So we're in that four position, cross it over, hold it there, press it back, lift. Little variation today. Hold and twist with that arm, that head behind, hand behind your head, elbows back. Take that other hand, press it back. Get those obliques warm it up. Hold and pulse. Good. Take those arms back, hold. Bring it up, one more. Good, unfold that leg, hold it, lift it up, take your hands behind your head, twist, lower, twist, let's add that knee. This time it's not cross. One more set, Ugh. bring it out and pump. We got four, three, two, one, and take your hands underneath. Now don't get rid of that ball. We're gonna use it today. We've done it before. We're gonna use it under our feet, under our ankles. Okay, so we're gonna put it under, let's, let's come out first. All right, now we're gonna put it on the opposite, the, the not the screen side leg, okay? So that when I turn around, I'll be on the other side. So we're gonna place it under that ankle, and we're gonna roll down. Ooh, feeling those abs from that little section there. All right, let's stretch first. Just keep that ball there so it's ready for you. Goal post arms, inhale, exhale, hands to the rib cage. Good, inhale, 
And what I didn't say before is big exhale. Good. We'll hold them in. Hold. Pelvic floor is engaged. Hands behind that head. We start with our lift. Now we still have that ball under that other ankle. So we're going to press down into it a little. Circle out. Start curling up. Elbows wide. Pull the knee into the chest. Now you know where we're going. Now you can just stay here. If this ball, if this is too confusing. Or we're going to take roll. Knee comes in, the leg comes out, and push. Go. Curl up as the knee comes in. We've done it before. Hold and pulse. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to add a twist. Dropping that other elbow to the floor. Two more. One more. Hold. Pulse the knee into the chest. Lift the leg up lower lift. Now we're going to do the same thing with the long leg. So we got to do it slowly so we get it. So we roll, take that guy down, and switch. As the leg comes up is when you want to curl up. Light grip behind your head. Now twist. Down, twist. Down, twist. Down. Hold and pulse. Pulse. Extend both legs. Grab on. Center out your body and then let the ball go. Yeah, it may roll away. I'm just gonna grab mine so it doesn't roll too far. Good, scissor it out. Tuck that chin slightly. Bend the legs for that bug position. Bring it back up, curl, tuck that chin slightly, hold, circle the foot, circle the foot the other way and roll it down, hug your knees into your chest. And if your ball rolled away, grab it. <laughs> we'll need it for the other side. All right, I'm gonna try to move this ring so that it'll be there when I need it. All right, so I flipped over, okay? So you're not going to. Um, and we're gonna put that ball under the other leg, okay? So make sure that you are under the other leg, otherwise you're gonna be doing the same leg twice and you don't wanna do that, okay? So squeeze down on that ball, take your hands behind your head, curl up. And push that leg up. Up to the ball height of the other leg, where that foot is, good. And circle, other way. Good, curl in. And we're gonna start our little combo. We push the other leg, knee in, other leg comes out. Curl up as the knee comes in, the one that doesn't have the ball. And start twisting over. Twist, twist. Good, center it out, lift, extend the other leg. We're gonna start with just the one leg to get you into it. And then we're going to pull that guy in, extend and lift, okay? Extend and lift. Sometimes it takes a few seconds for the brain to catch up. I don't know, on this one, mine does. So I do it slowly and then it works. Twist, twist, twist. Hold and pulse and center it out. Push it up. I'm just gonna grab my ball so it doesn't roll away and press. Good, hold it there, curl up a little, scissor it out, tuck that chin slightly, bend the legs, bring arms down. Oh, leg back up, leg out, curl up, tuck that chin slightly, circle and circle, and hug those knees into your chest. Oh yeah. All right, let's go into our Pilates 100. Level one, tabletop or tabletop with the ball, or you can lose the ball and take it behind your back if you need to, absolutely. Don't put it behind your neck, head, neck, and shoulders, okay? Put it behind the shoulders on the upper back if you need it, okay? Otherwise, extend the legs up. Heels together in Pilates V, heels together, feet apart. Curl up, and again, ball goes behind your back only if you need it. Extend those legs out. 
two, level two, level three, pump it. Inhale for five. Exhale. Try to curl, hop high and over. Pump those arms vigorously. Inhale for five. Exhale. Level three, could you drop your legs a little? Let's go, two more sets, because you know I lose count. One more. And level one, take out the ball, lift, circle, circle. Arms and legs going the same way. Let's go the other way, down, around. Level one, you don't have to come so low. Hold it and take a rest. Alrighty. Going into that oblique work and our lower belly. Let's grab the ball, place it underneath. So same movement you had if you were doing your hundreds in this tabletop position where I told you to put the ball. Okay, I want you to squeeze down into it. So creating some tension between your hamstring and your calf muscles. And then I want you to take that small lift. So the knees are just coming into the chest. And bring it up, up, up. So it's a count of three or one, none, one, two, three, whatever you can do. So none is just pulling the knees into your chest. Two is here, uh, one is here, two and three. Obviously none and one can't be the same. So none is here, just pulling the knees in. One lift, two lift, three lift. When you're at three, your knees are almost to your chest. All right, now let's take those hands behind that head. One, two, and curl. Pulse it. Twist it. And what I like to do lately is to pull the knees over and really twist over. Over. Knees to one side. Upper body to the other side. Hold and pulse. Good. Let's flip over. Let's, let's finish this side. Flip over to your side. Take that ball under that bottom, that top leg. Okay, you can lay down or you can be here. Okay, and we're going to lift that leg up, bring the arm down. I like to do these side positions lately. Good. And then I'm going to lift up. If you want level three, level twos, ones and twos, you can just stay here. Up. Lift that hip up, if you can. Up. Hold and pulse, or hold and pulse up. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna take the knee into the chest. Bring it back. Or lift up and take the knee into the chest so you're off of that hip, a little harder. Add that knee in. Oh, I'm sorry, add the elbow in. The knee comes in, the elbow comes down, and you can do it from here. You don't have to be up off that hip. Pulse it. Take that hand down, press it back. I'm gonna lift my arm up over my head, hip up or down. Squeeze into those glutes. Come on down, press it back. Pull that knee in. Good, press it. Good, so I'm lifting that same, I have the ball under the same leg, okay? And we're gonna switch to the other side. All right, here we go. On top of that leg, lift and lower or lift and lower. Down and up. Good, pull that knee into the chest. Press it back. And that here. Now again, your hip does not have to be up. 
Hold and pulse. Good, hold it up. Take it down. Come back and lift that knee in. Just one knee this time. Squeezing into this glute. Good. Don't lose your ball, hug your knee into the chest. All right, so we're gonna go into some bridges, but we're going to use the ball under our feet today. So option to do, do it or not, pull your feet on the ball. And obviously, if it's too much for you, you're going to not do it. Now, I think it's easier if you pull your feet, bottom of your feet together, or you can be here. We might try both. Let's try the easier first. So our feet are actually out and the heels, the soles of your feet are together. Yes, you do want to have your hands on the floor for this one, all right? We're gonna lift and lower. It's Friday, we need a little challenge here. Squeeze and down. Pull the pelvis in, back to the floor, and then lift. Now, of course, if you don't want to use the ball because it's just too much for you, just put your feet on the floor and pull them in with, you know, this way with the feet on the floor and just do your bridges there. Hold and pulse. Pull and push, you might wobble around, it's okay. And now we're gonna put the tops of the feet on the floor. This is gonna be a little harder, okay? Pull the knees together, scoop your belly in back to the floor. Ooh, this is getting those hamstrings, yeah. Lift and lower. Now we go up, we open this not as far in, down. With or without the ball, up, open, in, down. <sighs> Hold the legs open. Yes, we're wobbling a little. Four, three, two, one. Take the tops of the feet to the floor. We're not gonna have the tailbone up and we're gonna roll out, curl. Bring the arms back, curl in. Bring the arms back, curl in. And bring the arms back, curl in. Hold, pulse. <sighs> and bring it out. Let's take those feet off the ball and parallel your feet. They're open and push up. We have eight, seven, six. This time you can lift the arm. Four, three, two, hold it. Open those legs without the ball. We'll see how much easier it is, right? And push up, eight, seven, six, Little pelvic tilt there, four, three, two, hold it all the way up, glutes engage, hamstrings engage, feet engage, core engage, arms engage, hold, and release it down, pull the knees together, cross, and hug your knees all the way in towards the chest and your bottom of your leg close to your booty, and switch. All right, hug those knees into the chest and let's stretch out those legs. All right, so let's grab that band. If you don't have a band, just pull your hand onto your, your hands onto your hands, onto your calf. Otherwise, grab the band and pull the ends of it together. Bend the other knee, same side as your leg. I'm getting as close as I can so I can pull it down, pull my elbow in and bring that leg close to me. Point and flex your, your foot. Oh yeah, stretch it out. Hold it, flex, open it up, bring that arm with you, the other arm, the opposite arm. Open it up. And bend and press. If you don't have a uh, a band, you're gonna hold your leg out. Bend and press. All right, we're bringing both legs in and up. This one, slide the opposite one down, switch your band to your other hand. Take it down, hand on the side here. Cross the, and cross over the midline of the body. Squeeze down, IT band, inner thighs. Stretch them all out. Take a few deep breaths and exhale. Let's pull the other foot in. We'll grab it. Same side. 
pull it down, pull it closer towards you. You want to be able to feel that hamstring. You want to be able to feel, feel that calf. And point and flex the foot. All right, we're opening both legs. We're opening this arm out to the side. Shoulders relaxed into the floor. Let that leg fall down as far as it can go without dropping and bend and press it there. As you notice, I'm breathing. And bring it back. Slide that leg down. And then let's take that band into the opposite hand. Cross over the midline, squeeze down, down, down. I have a flexed foot. You can neutralize it, making it neutral if you don't want to have that big flex in it. Squeeze those thighs together and release. All right, you know where we're going. Leg circles. So maybe you need a quick stretch. Pull the knees into the chest if you need it. And we're going to start with our hands down and then we'll advance for those that want to. Slide that leg up. Extend it up to the ceiling and external rotation. Level one, bend your leg, pull the back to the floor, and you'll do your circles from here. You just don't wanna move this leg out of the way when you make your circle, okay? You wanna kinda make a D, if you're thinking about a capital D. All right, level two, more regular level. Foot's on the floor, legs on the floor, leg is up, three, off the floor, and Four, if you want, get those hands up, making it much more challenging, and you gotta keep everything steady. We go inhale halfway, exhale it up. Big breath. Inhale, exhale one more, and we go to the top. We are gonna grab that ball in a sec. One more, hold it, grab your ball. Okay, now level one, you're still with that bent leg. It's fine, leave it there. Curl up with the ball, bring it down, and you can drop your leg if you need to. Curl up and drop it down and curl up, hold, pulse with the ball and cross and take that stretch. Good. All right, let's go. It's Friday, so we're gonna do our other combo that we do not do on Monday. We stay in this cross-legged position. Alrighty. And I'm going to add the ball underneath that knee, okay, just for a little squeeze on that hamstring and calf. And we're going to curl up. And again, you don't have to use the ball. Just a little extra today. And curl the chest to the outer shin, or the inner shin, really. Hold and pulse, get that tailbone up, and we cross. Shoulder to knee, not elbow, keep that elbow back. Hold and pulse. Now, of course, we gotta take the ball out to do our long leg, so take it out, lift it up, lower lift. Try not to rest that leg on this leg going up and down, otherwise it's gonna really hurt. Pulse it up and back to twist, yeah. So I almost take my leg off a little so it's not resting so much on it. Hold and pulse, curl up, shoulder to knee, hold, center, take it down, down, cross the other leg and lift it up, hug your knee into your chest. That's stretching. All right, so I'm gonna to go to the other side. Let's start with our leg circles and have that bowl ready for when we go into our combo. Slide down, hands under to start. Slide it up and we go one, level two, three, four. Here we go. Inhale halfway, exhale it around. Gaze is at the ceiling on this one. One more, and go the other way. Now, I don't count how many I did on the other side. I just figure 
it was about five. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. We're good. Hold it right there and take a stretch. Good. All right, going into our combo. I didn't do any helicoptering today because we're doing all this other stuff. All right, so let's take the ball underneath that other knee if you're gonna use it. Remember, we gotta take it out when we extend the leg. And we take the hands behind that head, curl up, curl that lower body up, chest to the inner shin. Yes, inner, <laughs> I won't make that mistake again. Hold and pulse, curl up, and drop that elbow and shoulder to knee, twist. Twist, try to get that tailbone up off the floor if you can. Hold and pulse. Take the ball out, extend the leg up, lower lift. Don't rest that leg so hard on that other leg that's moving up and down, the long leg, they're both moving. And here we go, twist, elbow down, twist. Twist and pulse, and center, and take the other leg over. That's the one that's tired. You know, the leg was resting on it. Hug, hug. Take that knee up. Take the heel to the upper thigh. Lock it out and both knees into the chest. Yeah. Pull the shoulders down. Good. Roll to your side or rock up. Grab some water if you need it. We'll go into some sitting exercises today. We'll use our ball because we've just used our ball a lot today. So I like to kind of have a theme going here. All right, so let's take that ball into the chest. Hip distance, I'm uh, sorry, mat. If you're, your mat is lengthwise, I always tell you, your feet are at the corners. If your mat is like mine, judge in your mind where you think the corners of your mat would be, okay? And we're gonna squeeze into the ball, getting a little upper body work, but lift up the rib cage, pull the belly back to that spine, and pull the ball right, right at your chest. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Yeah, a little nice little chest work there without push-ups planks, right? Sometimes we can just do it this way. All right, we're gonna go to our saw. So, ball comes down right at your upper thigh, arms out, make sure it doesn't roll away. And we stretch it out, back at that shoulder, arm up, bring it back, open it, take it to the other side. Open, yeah, it might roll away. <laughs> Grab it and stretch. Pull that arm back, look over your shoulder, stretch with the ball, grab it in that side hand, twist it over. Actually, let's not drop it, let's just take it, right? And Good, that works out better. I should have known that, I've done it before. And stretch, roll it back, and again. Stretch, one more time. And take it in the center. Alrighty, we go, twist. Now we're gonna twist with, with the ball, but we're gonna keep the hands here. So we're gonna lift the rib cage, and we're gonna take that twist, keeping that squeeze in center. Keep the ball close to your chest. Twist over, squeeze. Twist over, squeeze. Now, open it up. Take it over, twist. Take it to the other side. We don't really need the ball here, but it's kind of fun. Alrighty, and we're gonna go into our spine stretch forward. Here we go. Scoop, ball in hand or just hands. Take it on the top, roll it out. Right? Here is between the biceps. And lift. Scoop, on top, roll it out. Stretch, roll it back, one more time. This isn't exactly a hard move, but it's really good on your flexibility. And roll it back. Well, maybe for somebody it is. If you're not flexible, it may be hard. 
All right, let's roll our shoulders back and we're going to scooch around, okay? All right, let's take the ball into our feet, hold it there, roll back. Good, hands behind that head, curl up, bend the elbows. Yeah, I'm gonna let you squeeze the feet. Let's go. Now, you may need some help there. So you can put your hands on the floor if you absolutely need to. Open, lower down. Lift up, squeeze your legs. If you absolutely need to bend your knees, bend them. Lift, 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 hold, scoop, lower, roll down. Now our body wants us to fly down, flop. You wanna to try to control that. Curl up. Bring them in a little, just to get yourself up. If you need to bend your knees, that's okay. Try to come up with a little neck pull there. Open, stretch, lift, elbows wide. Press back, hinge, scoop, roll down. I'm gonna hug your knees into your chest. <laughs> that's a hard move. I don't do that all the time. All right, let's go into our roll over, our roll ups, okay? So, here we go. Level one, bend the knees, pull the back to the floor, arms back to those ears, and bring it up, curl, look through the window, tuck the chin and really scoop. Bring it back, open up the legs, level two, pull the back to the floor, curl up, look through that window, Use the backs of your legs under your knees to pull you up. Stretch, scoop, and arms by the ears. All right, if you're with me, let's go. Grab your ball. And we're going to bring those arms up. Everybody get into position, level one, level two with those bent legs, okay? Biceps by the ears. Engage your lats, engage your ribs and go. Curl up, level one, keep going. You have a shorter range of motion. Legs in Pilates V. Look through that window. Curl up, stretch towards the feet. Okay, ears, right by those biceps. Keep the scoop in the belly. Keep that grip on the ball. Exhale. No floor, okay? Arms by those ears. Engage. Engage, curl up, exhale. Roll all that air out, scoop. Exhale. You see how I keep scooching back? Every time my body goes back, this happens. Curl up, up, scoop. Stretch, now you're warm. You should be able to stretch all the way over. We got one more to go. Biceps by those ears. Curl up. Curl, look through that window last time. Engage, exhale. I'm gonna drop my, I'm gonna drop my ball because I know I'm not gonna need it when I do my rollovers. Exhale. Alrighty, I'm gonna scooch down, hug your knees into your chest. Level three and two, two and three, scooch down so you have room behind you to roll up over your head. Alrighty, so here we go on the easier. Let's pull the feet together. Yes, I have my ha feet hanging off because I know I need that room behind me. Okay, level one doesn't matter. You're not gonna be going up over your head, so you stay where you are, unless you got all the way over. You can see how my body, when I was doing those roll ups, I go, I'm like almost to the top of my mat or behind it. So I gotta roll, come down no matter what. Here we go, feet together, Pilates V, lift, 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 lift. A little over a tiny bit of reverse curl, flex your feet, circle them around, point the toes. Lift, lift, curl, just meaning a little, circle. This is one you really wanna think about using your pelvic floor, especially right here as you lift, 
and circle. Okay, because we really want to engage that core. This is not really a leg exercise. Okay, you're using your legs, but it's all core. Now, we're going to go up and over our head. Level one, continue that move. Twos and threes, come up and over your head. Parallel to the floor, and only if you feel comfortable, put, pull your feet to the floor. Otherwise, you're just opening up your legs and flexing your feet if it feels okay on your back. If your back is warm enough, flex your feet. If not, keep them soft. Okay. My back is warm today, so I'm going to drop them to the floor, and I'm going to circle around and pull my heels together. And I'm going to slide my hands back in for that support. Curl up. Open. Circle around. Shh, breathe. Don't forget to breathe. I'm always talking, and then I forget to tell you. Curl up. Level one. Keep going. All right. Here we go. Open it up. Level two, come back down, hug your knees into your chest. Three, pull the feet together, take your hands on your back. We'll use it to lift you up in that jackknife position that we're gonna go into. Point the toes, pull, pull them in, pull out his V, drop down, open them up, finish the rollover. Pull them together. All right, anybody that needs a quick stretch, take it, maybe rock out. Okay, and we're gonna start with those wide legs, okay? All right, here we go. All the hands underneath, lift up, curl, heels together, point the toes, lower down, circle around, flex feet, lift, heels together, point those toes in Pilates V, pelvic floor is engaged, down, 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 shh. And go down. Level one, keep going. Twos and threes, let's go up and over your head with that wide legs, flex feet, parallel to the floor here. Bring them together if you can't get to the floor, otherwise lower them. Not everybody can do that. Flex if the back's warm enough. Lower down with those legs together. Circle it around. Over. Drop them if it's okay. Together, flex your feet or neutral. Lower down. Control. One more time. All right. Level two, go down, hug your knees into your chest. Three, hands on that back again. Curl all the way up. Okay, shake out your head. Make sure it's nice and free. You don't want to have that pressure on your head, neck, and shoulders. Okay, it's more of an elbow and your core that is holding you up. We're going to bend the knees to the chest today. Closed or open, doesn't matter. I like to open mine. You can open and close. Shoot them back up. Lift. Pull the belly in. Lower down. And roll down with those legs together. Good. Circle them around. Here we go. Come back, level one and two. We're going to take those legs without lifting the tailbone. We're just circling. We're going the other way. Slide it. Lift it. Open it. Flex your feet. Good. Circle them in. Circle them out. Heels. Point. Flex. And heels together. Little of a Pilates V, slight point in the toes, brownies down and up. And my last one, knees in. Three, and two, and one. Good, grab on the inside, take your break, rock it out. Good, we're gonna rock up or roll to your side, grab some water. Let's come on to all fours. No, not yet, let's come on to our bellies. Now, I want you to have your ball available. Okay, now this is going to be a little, not yet, but with, you're going to actually put it behind your legs. So if you want, you can actually do it now so that it's there for you. And then you're going to let lower down. All right? Optional, of course. If it's just too much to even think about, don't worry about it. All right, let's go hands to the chest. Pull shoulders back. Peel yourself up. 
or all the way up here. This time I'm going to leave my thighs on the floor, pull my shirt down, circle out. Ooh, it's, I'm hot. And come on down. Now I want you to take your leg with the ball or your heels together and I want you to lift them up and extend. Lift them up. So they're right in between those ankles. Curl the upper body from the hands up and elbows in, legs in. Good. Now I'm going to shoot my arms out, but I'm going to curl my legs in. Bring them back. Little back of the body work. Good. Hands back on the floor. Lift the legs up. I want you to flex your feet. Heels are together if you don't have your ball. Lift, lift. Get those hips digging into the floor and then your thighs are coming up. I want you to extend and bend. We point, we flex. Hold it, flex it, push it up. Four, three, two, one. Hold it, and if you can, come up, stretch. Press it back, stretch. Good. Take the ball, out for a sec. Get that nice stretch. Alrighty. So we're gonna take that ball behind that knee. We're gonna scoop. Now, I have my toe down. If your ball isn't gonna stay there, you can keep it up or you just drop it to the floor. Arch, scoop, good. Now I'm gonna lift my foot off the floor and I'm gonna extend this guy. Again, you can do this without your ball. Hold it, pitch your weight forward if it feels okay to you. And we're gonna go into our push-ups here, okay? We go down, press, down. Yeah. Press. Two more. One more. Drop that foot to the floor and you can stay there and scoop. Otherwise, lift that leg up. You can also drop this guy to the floor, okay, if you need to. And we're going to lift that leg. Flex the foot. Lift. Lift. Let Pull the knee in. Flex it up. In. Up. In. Up. Two more. One more, hold it in, press, take it down, down, sit down on it. Good, all right, other side. Hopefully I'll remember what I did. <laughs> Let's take that guy back, behind the other one, scoop, arch, pelvic tilt, extend that leg. You can lift that one up or keep it on the floor. I don't know if I lifted my arm. I don't remember. I don't think I did. All right, we're gonna put that guy on the floor. We're gonna lift it up. You can also put it on the floor. Okay, here we go. Push up. Go, elbows in if you can. Or you can widen them. Two more. One more. Hold, all right. We're gonna lift that guy up off the floor. You can also drop this knee and then lift this guy, okay? Those are your options. All right, here we go. Lift, 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 lift. Pulse, pull it in, press, curl, press, curl. Again, you can do this with your knee down. Hold it, take it down, take the ball out. Stretch, plank on your knees if you need to. Hold it there, tuck under, good. Rock, come up, stretch, come forward, lift that guy up, press back, down. On your knee again if you need to, no ball, plank. Other side, lift, tap, lift, tap. Hold it, plank, hold, 
low plank hold. Drop to your knees if you need to, hold it. Drop those knees, four, and three, and two, and one. Hold it. Pull the belly up to that spine. Sphinx arms, or you can clasp them or hold them together. And drop to your knees and stretch. Yeah. Woo. Alrighty. All right, one minute at a time. So we're gonna go right into our stomach series. Starting from the floor today. So come on down. Slowly pull that knee in. Hand on the knee, hand on the ankle. Lift the leg slightly up off the floor. Pull them closer, chin to knee, nose to knee really. And go single, bent leg stretch. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale. Exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, hold. Can you curl up? Yes. Switch. Pull the heels together, keep them together. Pilates V in the feet. Feet never come apart. Heels never come apart. Shins, hands on the shins. Try to lift, extend, circle around. Where do the hands go? Biceps by those ears. Double bent leg stretch. We bend, extend, we circle. Three more. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Last one and hold. Grab onto that leg closest to the screen. Single straight leg stretch. Pulse two. Inhale, exhale. Tuck the chin slightly. You don't want to jam it into your chest, but you don't want your head back. It hurts my neck if I do that anyway. Let's hold it. Curl up. We can get a little rock today. We didn't do our rolling like a ball. So baby rock. You can come all the way up if you'd like. And switch. I didn't hold it very long up there, so you want to try it today. I'm coming all the way up. Hold. And come down. Heels together. Hands behind that head, light grip, elbows wide in peripheral vision. Tuck that chin, legs in Pilates V. Lower lift. Lower lift. Inhale, exhale. Hold it. Bend those knees, elbow down, slide the leg out. Press cross for our last part of that stomach series. Curl up, curl up, curl up, curl up. Curl, curl, four, three, two, last one, and done. All right, let's finish off with those legs. Roll to your side or rock it up and grab your ball. Since we have the ball theme. And let's take the ball under that front leg on that corner. So we're gonna start there so that your ball is ready. Okay, you can be here, you can be here, you can be here with me. Just keep yourself up. Back leg is back there. Your other leg is in front in that corner. And we go forward and back. Now we got a lot of balancing going on because that leg is on that ball. So if you don't like that leg on that ball, lose it. I'm gonna put my hand on my head for a little more challenge. I'm gonna hold my leg back and I'm gonna squeeze into those glutes. Alrighty, take it up, circle. You gotta go around that ball. Well, not really around the ball, but we have that leg in the way. I'm not gonna take my hand down. All right, let's go the other way. Here we go. Squeeze that foot, that ankle down into that ball. Hold it, stretch it forward and up, forward and up. Bring it back, squeeze down and up. Now I'm gonna move the ball into the inner part of my ankle this time and I'm gonna Pilates V the ball so my feet are on that external rotation and I'm gonna squeeze. I'm gonna bring my hand up, option not to. 
and I'm gonna lift and lower. Little oblique work, I'm also feeling it, obviously in my inner thighs. Hold it, squeeze it, and grab your ball. Let's go to the other side. We start with it underneath. We bring that foot on it. We bring that back leg back, head, neck, and shoulders where you had it. Forward, back. This side's harder, I'm gonna keep my hand down <laughs> for me. We're gonna hold it back, squeeze back. Good, circle. Doesn't matter which way you go. We're going the other way. We go around and around. Now, as you notice, my foot on that ball is moving around. I gotta try to keep it steady. We go forward. We lift, forward, and lift. I'm gonna add a flex foot here. I don't remember what I did on the other side, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna squeeze down, and I'm gonna lift up. Here we go, let's finish it off with that ball in between the ankles. We're still on that diagonal, and we're gonna lift up, arm up. Squeeze your ball. Little baby pulse. Let's finish it off. Three, and two, and one. Take it. Hug that knee into the chest and roll onto your back. All right. Here we go. Stretch. Ooh, yeah. Feet together. Slide the arms down, ladies. And slide the feet in. Pull the back to the floor, pull your belly back to the spine. Grab your knee closest to the screen and hug it in. It worked for you today. Give it some love, right? Give your body love and it'll love you back, right? Press it back, point and flex. Circle it around, other way. Let's cross that leg over, open it up, interlace your hands, use that elbow to press out. Yeah, always feels good. Let's slide that off. Take this guy in towards the chest. So we're on the other leg now. And bring it up. And bring it in, point and flex. Circle it around, other way. Cross it, open it, lift it up, interlace your hands underneath and use your elbow to press out, hug, that knee in a little closer to your chest if you so desire. And we're gonna slide that leg off. Roll to your side or rock it up. Soles of your feet together. Grab onto those shins. Pull yourself up. Shake your head around. Other way. Little side to side. Exhale towards your feet. Inhale up, extend the legs out, walk them out, stretch. Inhale back, slide those feet together, pull them in, take the hands back behind you, push yourself up, take your hands in front, push yourself up, walk back, roll up. Head comes up last, open up those legs, turn your feet out, Roll the shoulders back. Roll them forward too. All right, let's finish off. We're gonna bend those legs, make sure your feet are turned out. Plie, inhale up, stretch to the ceiling, cross your arms, exhale one more time. Inhale and exhale. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job. Hopefully you have an awesome day.